What is going on everybody? My name is Connor. You guys can call me Spirit today with a huge Black Ops 3 news video for you guys. I think this is one you guys are definitely going to like. I'm going to start posting a lot more Black Ops 3 videos on my channel just because I'm going to try and do more and more double uploads every single day. So if Black Ops 3 is something you're excited for and you're really into Black Ops 3 news, definitely hit the subscribe button. Would mean the world to me and like I said, I plan on having a bunch of Advanced Warfare content and Black Ops 3 content out here within the next two weeks, months, days, minutes, seconds, whatever time period. We're, I, you know, I plan on getting a bunch of it out, but today I'm covering more or less a leak, I guess. Uh, but now I'm going to be talking about the kill streaks and score streaks um, that have quote unquote been leaked out on Reddit um, to be in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now, of course, none of this or information, um, you know, it can't be, it, it's not, the game's not done yet, all right? And this is just some some random dude on reddit who claims all his credible information and claims it's 100 percent credible but you know i i think it sounds pretty accurate but that is pretty much up for you guys to decide so take this information like a grain of salt or with a grain of salt or whatever the saying is and you know there is a chance it couldn't be 100 percent true but in my opinion i think it sounds pretty accurate um and definitely pretty plausible and i wouldn't be surprised if at least like 80 percent of these kill streaks we're in the final builds of the game because they sound awesome. Dude, these kill streaks definitely sound like the old kill streaks from Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1 that you could call in and actually get kills with rather than like the advanced warfare streaks. That you just kind of get them and they do jack shit. Like, why did I get that kill streak? I would have like saved myself the half a second it takes to call it in because that was a waste of time. So, these kill streaks look awesome, look absolutely amazing. I'm pumped for them. Um, but yeah, let's get right into them, dudes, and let's break these bad boys down. The first one is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, it's been in literally every single Call of Duty. That is the UAV. Probably going to be the lowest kill streak. Super easy to get. Um, and it just shows you where the enemies are on the minimap. If you don't know what that is, you probably haven't played Call of Duty, but you just get it. You call it in it, on the little minimap, shows little red dots. Pretty self explanatory. Next, we have the HDXD, which stands for Hover Something 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 Something. So. Um, it's basically the RCX from Black Ops 2, but it hovers around the map, so that's pretty cool. Um, I also heard you could hover up walls with it, like literally drive up walls, like that's crazy. So that's gonna be an awesome kill streak. Next, we have the counter UAV. All that does is get rid of the enemy's mini map. So instead of you know showing uh, where you're on the map or maybe little red dots if the enemies are shooting, it just shows a like T like. TV static, you know, that stupid, like, I don't know, it, it just gets rid of the enemies right around the big deal. Next, we have the care package, you call it in and it gives you a random kill streak. Um, you know, chances are it'll give you a UAV or HDXD, and then uh, the better kill streaks, which we haven't gotten to yet, um, you probably won't get. Next, we have the Sentry Gun. Sentry Gun's been in essentially every single Call of Duty. It's just, you know, a little turret that you acquire and you place it on the ground, and then whenever enemies come by it, it just shoots them and mows them down. So it's a pretty reliable kill streak, but it definitely isn't the best thing in the game. Um, it'll get you about two to three kills, at least in previous Call of Duties. Now, the Cluster Missile is what I thought was the first kind of more interesting one that I haven't really heard of before. And after reading about it a little bit on the Reddits that you can link find in the description, um, it basically described it to be like the Missile Strike in Advanced Warfare, where you just get a thing, or you, you get, kind of get like an overhead view of the map, and then, you know, you press the trigger and it just puts a, put out a bunch of missiles kind of in the general area of an enemy or wherever you aim the missiles at. So it's just a bunch, it's like a big missile strike in a confined area where you aimed it. Next we have the AGM strike, which, you know, at first I'm like, you know, cluster missile AGM strike, that's like, how is that different? You know, it's just, it sounds like the same thing, just renamed. But I read about it and this is like the Trinity rocket from Call of Duty Ghost, um, kind of where you shoot like, uh, just it's three big rockets so you shoot one rocket one place another rocket another and the third rocket somewhere else so it's kind of like the cluster missile but uh, you get more rockets and they don't really spread out like the cluster miss missile does so moving on we have the death machine which is always a lot of fun this was in black ops 1 um, and it's just an awesome gun it's a big fucking turn you just walk around and just spray everyone down so that's awesome dude the death machine is always a lot of fun just to run around with you know it's 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 amazing you normally run really slow with it but it's a ton of fun I'm, I'm pumped for that next we have the destructinator which if you guys remember the war machine from black ops 2 it's basically a big um noob tube like a super overpowered noob tube uh but this shoots missiles instead of just noob tubes so that is gonna be crazy dude a freaking war machine that shoots missiles that Wow, unbelievable. Next, we have the Wraith, which is an AI-controlled gunship that disappears when shot. Now, the thing I didn't really understand, that was the only description it said was that disappears when shot, or, you know, the AI-controlled part. Um, 
What does it mean by disappeared when shot? Does it mean you shoot one bullet at it and the whole fucking kill streak is just gone? Like, that's it? Game over kill streak? Like, it's out of the air? Or does it just, like, go invisible and, like, move somewhere else? So I don't really know what it means by disappears when shot. That'll be super interesting because if it just disappears off the map and it's gone and the kill streak's over, that kill streak kind of sucks ass. But if it just disappears and go invisible, I think that'll be awesome. So. Uh, next, we have the GI unit, which is a robot that can help you play the objective. So this is pretty much like a squad mate from Call of Duty Ghost, but can't really get you any kills, at least from the description that I read. So if you're just capping a flag, you know, it'll fly up behind you uh, and help you cap that flag a little bit faster. So that's pretty awesome. Now, the next two kill streaks are the ones that I am most excited for, and it's going to help you get uh, whatever secret hidden kill streak is in the game. Um, that is the VSAT, which is basically like a UAV, but it lasts twice as long, and it shows everyone in the mini-maps as little triangles, which, and the tip of the triangle facing wherever the enemies are facing. So that is, like, the VSAT's probably my favorite kill streak in Call of Duty ever. Next, we have the EMP, which just disables all their electronics. It's pretty much like a system hack, but your screen doesn't turn to a bunch of fuzzy, uh, fuzzy bullshit, pretty much. So, next we have a RAPS, or... Yeah, a, or a RAS, my bad. Um, which is a ship that drops a bunch of balls over the map, and the balls hunt down enemies, and then they blow up and kill the enemies. So, well, this is kind of like, you know, it's just, it's like little things that hunt down the enemies and kill them. So, essentially, knowing Treyarch, this is going to be the equivalent of a dog kill streak. You guys remember the dogs from Black Ops 1? You get them, you call them in, um, they just run around and literally eat the enemies. So, you know, that's pretty much what this kill streak is equivalent of. So, uh, the next one sounds absolutely awesome, and that is a spider tank. We did see a bunch of these kill streaks uh, in the reveal trailer. Like I know for a fact we saw the spider tank, uh, and it just fires a barrage of missiles with targeting systems. So essentially, um, you know, it just kind of you know finds an enemy and just shoots a missile at it and kills them. So that's pretty straightforward. Pretty sounds like it's going to be a pretty good kill streak. I'm looking forward to that one. Next we have the fireflies, which is pretty much like a swarm, but it's supposed to be a smaller version of the swarm since the swarm was pretty. I don't want to say overpowered but it was definitely dominant in Black Ops 2. And last but not least, we have the Mothership. And this is probably going to be the big kill streak, not like a nuke or Moab or something like that, but this is going to be like uh, the big thing that's going to get you the most kills. And it is a big gunship that you can control along with two other teammates as like assist gunmen. So this, when you get this kill streak, it is literally going to be hell for the other team because there's three people in one gunship just absolutely raping face. Now, this article did say a little bit about the secret hidden kill streak that is hopefully going to be in the game. Um, it said that the developers are still kind of debating if they want the kill streak to be something physical like a Moab or just a metal like a nuclear. And personally, I think this is awesome to hear. Um, that they're debating about it because that means it's probably going to be one or the other and there is going to be some sort of hidden reward or hidden metal or hidden kill streak that is definitely better than nothing uh, like a Black Ops 1, Call of Duty 4 uh, there wasn't any like big kill streak like that so even a metal is better than um, better than nothing at all so that's really good news that it, we're at least going to get something according to this leak so do hope you guys enjoy this video I'm so pumped for Black Ops 3 it's going to be awesome thousand likes on this video would make my day subscribe if you guys are new comment down below which one of these you are most excited for honestly i think the fireflies the mothership the vsat coming back baby i'm pumped hope you guys enjoyed have a fantastic day everybody i'll see you guys in another video soon peace out